I get asked a million times, what do I think of D4? And I get it, I create content on the game. So it's a fair question. But in this video, I wanna explain why I have the opinion I have regarding Diablo 4 with the hopes that one, you understand the foundation of my answer and where it's coming from. And two, you don't classify it as negative or I wanna burn D4 to the ground. That could not be the furthest thing from the truth. The truth is I wanna help D4 be the best version of itself. If we're being completely objective as of this moment, when I'm asked, what do I think of the current state of Diablo 4? My answer is simple, just Go play any other good ARPG and you will quickly see all the potential and flaws in D4. Now, before we get into the details, I want to mention that most of you watch my content and you do not subscribe. If you could hit that subscribe button, it would really help my channel grow immensely. We want to do bigger and better things here. So your support would mean the world to me. So please hit that subscribe button. What do I mean when I say go play any other good ARPG and it will highlight the flaws in D4? Let me give you some examples. Now, I've had the pleasure of playing a lot of great ARPGs. I'm sure most of you have had the same pleasure. And we know what they are. And forgive me if I've missed some, but when it comes to Diablo 4, it's the same two or three other ARPGs that get put into the same bucket. That is Path of Exiles of the world. And in the coming future, PoE2 will enter into the foe. Last Epoch, a recent uh, injection into the ARPG and some oldies but goodies. And one that I'm currently doing my first playthrough, Grim Dawn, a game that's over eight years old. When you play these other ARPGs, like I have, like I continue to do, and I'm sure some of you as well, you instantly get hit in the face with, oh my God, like this is unbelievable. How come this isn't in the Diablo game? And here are some examples. So a lot of these other good ARPGs have more layers to builds and the skill trees. And again, you don't have to go, for me personally, I don't have to go too far. Like I just said, I'm about 30 hours into playing my first playthrough of Grim Dawn and I was live streaming it and I asked what are the best builds? I'm doing a blind playthrough, no build guide, no nothing. So I was curious, like, am I anywhere near the OP build? And many of the responses was all of them. They all work. It all depends on your play style and what you want to do, but they all can conquer the content in the game. And it was so refreshing to hear because again, I don't want to get into everything that's happening with Diablo four and the nerfs with class A, B and C and why is class D and E far more superior than class A and B. We know what's going on. I don't want to get in. But the point of it is when you're playing these other good ARPGs, all the class, there's build diversity, there's class diversity. Last Epoch, there are five classes, each have three masteries. Their skill trees are layered and there's depth, which creates and gives the players the capability of creating their own builds, uh -huh. unique builds. The boss fights are actual boss fights. They have boss mechanics, which you need to avoid. They're not just punching bags with no real mechanics. I literally just had one of the most epic boss fights in Grim Dawn, and it was only act one of the game. It was amazing fight. I actually, my palms were sweating. It was so intense. And that's just a minor example. Don't even get me going on the boss fights in Path of Exile and Last Epoch, which, like I said, they're actual boss fights. There are bosses in Diablo 4 that the world, and I'm thinking of one specifically, I believe it's Avarice is the name, guys, correct me if I'm wrong. The, literal, the boss spawns and dies instantly. So the boss fights are actually boss fights. There's variety, not only not only in the builds with these other ARPGs, but also in the content. The open worlds are vast. They provide change in scenery and ambiance. 
it doesn't look all the same. And probably the most annoying characteristic that I personally find in Diablo 4 and how it's managed, there's no evolution in design. And and sorry, I don't want to I don't want to call anyone out. Assets are continually reused. This is my biggest pet peeve. Assets, assets, assets. They're constantly reused. And you don't even have to go as far as the latest campfire chat, which was around the season five PTR and the infernal horde mechanic. It is reused assets, mishmash, that infernal horde, the new end game content for the season five, one of them, there may be more. I'm going by what I know today. Now they may be announcing more content for season five, but as of today, the only content, end game content being added in season five and what we're testing in the PTR is the Infernal Horde returning to hell as they coined it. That is a combination of all kinds of assets already in the game. It's a combination of Helltide. It's a combination of the pit. It's a combination of the nightmare dungeons mechanics, all mishmashed with lipstick put on it and called something new. Um, so it's the reusing of assets that's really my biggest pet peeve with Diablo 4. So really the evolution in design could be better. Now, don't get me wrong. No game is perfect. All of them have issues. None of them are perfect. There is no perfect video game in my opinion. But when it comes to Diablo 4 and the question I get asked over and over and over again, what do you think of Diablo 4? If you really want to know the answer to that question without prejudice or loyalty, the answer is simple. Just go play another good ARPG and you will quickly come to this conclusion that D4 is lacking many of the core requirements of a good ARPG. And that is my simple response to that question. Now, you may not like it, you may hate my response, but I just wanted to create this video to let you know where I'm coming from. And when I get asked a question or I create content critiquing Diablo 4, this is the foundation that my response is based off of, is when I'm looking at other ARPGs. Now, you may say, why are you doing that? Well, if my channel was about sports cars, I'm going to compare that sports car that I'm talking about to all the other sports cars in the market. I'm not going to compare that sports car to a sedan or an SUV. So of course, when it comes to Diablo 4, it's going to get compared to other ARPGs in the market. So that's just the way it works and good, bad, and different for whatever reason, when it comes to Diablo 4, the same ARPGs always get brought to the foe. And that is Path of Exile and Last Epoch, who just entered the scene five, six months ago. I know they've been they've been in development for five years or whatever, but they just went full release uh, four months ago, whatever it was, correct me if I'm wrong. But anyway, that's what it is, guys. So let me know what you think. Let me know what your thoughts are on this video. I don't want to be perceived as being negative. I wanted to create this video because a lot of people do throw that at me and I want you to know that I'm coming from a place of good and I want to help Diablo 4 be the best version of itself that it can be. The little influence that I do have. So I hope you see that in my content and it's not just me doing it to get clicks or just because I'm negative in general. Quite the opposite. I'm the most positive person uh, there is out there. But don't hate the player hate the game. I'm not designing it. I'm just offering you my opinion on what I believe it can be. And that's based on what other good ARPGs are and exist and are there today. So that's where I'm coming from. Anyway, let me know what you think, guys. I would love to hear your feedback. And as always, if you can come over to my stream, my live stream every evening on Twitch, channel name is Sammy Caps. We'd love to have you. We have a cool, a cool community, chill community. Come over and say hello. We'd love to have you. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. 
Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.